It has been four months now since Wabash beat out 10,000 other communities to win $500,000 to help its small businesses in the downtown. The projects are wrapping up now, and News Channel 15's Holly Campbell went back to see how the money was spent. This alleyway is just one of the projects completed by Deluxe since Wabash was named the winner of its national competition in May. Today, I caught up with small business owners to talk about how the $500,000 the city received is being used to improve not only the front of their businesses, but also what happens behind the scenes. This was filament tattoo four months ago. And after Wabash won the small business revolution, it got a makeover. One of the fun things that they did was uh, they gave us this great big, nice new awning, new signage, so there's matching signs. A new door, which uh, looks so much better than, than what we had before. Deluxe is helping six businesses improve their curb appeal and web appeal. They helped us with Facebook and got us 10,000 new followers in the course of like a week. Thrift Delicious owner Tracy Griffith says with advice from the experts, she's changing her business a bit, focusing on retro items. We've always sold old, old school video games, but we want to kind of broaden that horizon and go into what we call old school cool. The company also created a park, spruced up an alley, and gave all downtown businesses new signs. I really think that this project instilled confidence in Wabash, and I think that's the push that we needed. There's definitely been an increase in business, an increase in sales, an increase in publicity. Um, but even more than just like the personal business end of things, it's been great to watch Wabash come together. All of the projects that were completed with the $500,000 will be highlighted in an eight part mini series produced by Deluxe that will air later this month. In Wabash, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.